Robert Sala was hired in January of 2021 to be the head coach of the New York Jets. And the fact that he is still the head coach is downright shocking. Probably the only reason why he still has a job is because of the lost 2023 season and the loss of Aaron Rodgers week one. So the NFL is not a patient league. Woody Johnson is not a patient owner. We are not patient fans. Most head coaches would not be starting their fourth year with an 18 and 33 record and no playoff appearances. Coaches in similar situations like Brandon Saley with a 24 and 24 record and Ron Rivera with a 26 and 40 record are gone. It's safe to say that this is a must win season. Otherwise, the Jets are gonna be looking for another GM and a new head coach for 2025. Sala is a player's coach through and through. Even with the turmoil of the first three seasons, he never lost the locker room, and it appears free agents still wanted to come and play for him. The same can't be said for his coaching staff. Since 2021, there's been a drastic turnover in his staff. As we know, Robert Sala is a defensive coach, and with the exception of the first season, his defense has played exceptional. The offense is a completely different story. It is a must-win season in 2024. But for the coaches and the front office, it seems like everybody's jumping ship. Here are all the changes since December 1st of 2023. Assistant GM Rex Hogan fired. Director of Player Personnel Chad Alexander, he's leaving for an assistant GM position with the Chargers. Offensive assistant Mac Brown, he's leaving for Seattle. He's going to be a tight ends coach. The wide receiver coach, Zach Azani, he leaves for the same position in Pittsburgh. You have the running backs coach, Embry. He's leaving for the Patriots. And then finally, the quarterback coach, Rob Calabrese. He's leaving for the LA Rams to be an offensive assistant. I am really concerned about these offensive coaches leaving. Hackett did a horrific job his first season as offensive coordinator, but now he's going to be going into next year with a completely revamped staff. The changes were not handled well by the Jets. It was rumored that the Jets were bringing in Jefferson and Dews for the wide receiver and running back coach positions while Azani and Embry were still employed. Did these guys leave the team because they knew they were part of last season's problems? Or did they make a choice because they knew that the Jets offense was nothing but a sinking ship? And it's not like these guys went to bad organizations either. They went to the Steelers, Rams, Patriots, Seahawks. While I understand the Patriots and Seahawks are both in the process of moving on from Hall of Fame coaches, they're still the Patriots and the Seahawks, and I doubt that they're going to bring in guys from an offense as bad as the Jets last year if there was the impression that they were also part of the problem. In addition to the season's coaching staff turnover, we also had two major changes in the front office. Assistant GM Rex Hogan was fired, and it doesn't seem like he's being considered for any new jobs. Director of Player Personnel Chad Alexander left for an assistant GM job with the Chargers. This seems like bad management from a front office perspective. Chad Alexander was promoted to this job in Los Angeles. Why was he not considered for the assistant GM job with the Jets if he knew Rex Hogan was going to be let go? Chad Alexander was an excellent part of the Jets front office and has been reported to have an excellent eye for evaluating talent in the draft. He had a really big role in drafting Sauce and Garrett Wilson. Losing Alexander seems like a major blow to the front office. With Aaron Rodgers in a top five defense, the Jets should be in the conversation for AFC favorites next year. However, playoff contenders usually don't have this level of turnover, especially this early in the offseason. We have to hope that Robert Sala and Douglas can right the ship and make sure Aaron Rodgers has every resource possible to lead the Jets to a successful 2024 season.